Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. Today I want to share with you some simple while relevant knowledge which I gathered by competing in Hima for several years, from getting out at the pools to winning the final. So especially if you are approaching your first competitions, check out these little hints. Today I decided to talk about competition anxiety, which is a pretty common condition out there, which of course I experienced myself in first person. So let's start. First of all, you have to know that you are always going to experience some competition anxiety, most probably. Some people feel it more than others and some other people never experience it at all. But you have to know that in general, the greatest majority of people I know which tend to win a tournament more or less regularly, tend to be prey of competition anxiety at some degree. They walk around by themselves in a nervous way, they warm up far more than it is needed, and they go to the bathroom a gazillion times, and so on. In fact, you have to know that, in general, some competition anxiety is useful to perform well, and funny enough, do not feeling any sometimes is even detrimental, as it may mean that a fencer is not charging the competition with emotional value, which means that every result in the end will be more than fine. Seasoned fencers which win a lot may be lesser prey of anxiety, after they proved something to themselves, but at the same time they will always feel some inside. So if you are proving some competition anxiety, maybe by not sleeping well the night before the tournament, or by losing some appetite the day of the competition, or if you have to go to the bathroom three times before the competition starts, you have to know that it's fine. Some of it will go away with experience and time, eventually. But if you feel that anxiety is making you feel stuck, you have to do something right now. Too much competition anxiety may result in different symptoms. The most common one which I experienced myself is feeling stuck on your legs while you are fighting. Other people start gripping the sword too much instead, and they lose control of their technique, landing exaggerated motions which, on average, they are able to land in a far, far better way while sparring or training. Other people feel the tension in their guts, some have their digestion process get stuck, others have to go to the bathroom frequently, and others feel as they have to puke. I also knew people which felt it in their chest, as if they weren't able to breathe properly. If you start feeling this kind of sensation, you first of all have to know that you are not the first one experiencing it, from chess players to crazy MMA fighters, most people prove it in a way or the other. Now the first thing that you have to do when this kind of thing happens is getting aware and actually telling to yourself that part of this process is your body getting ready for the competition. You have instead to completely avoid the idea of hiding the anxiety, negating it or trying to avoid it by thinking about other things only as the competition approaches. Notice that for some specific people these tricks may be useful, but the greatest majority suffers a lot the fact of hiding anxiety while approaching the competition. This generally results in feeling all the anxiety you hidden to yourself at the first second of the first fight. Like a giant burden which gets charged on your shoulders which a few seconds before were apparently at ease and relaxed. The second thing you have to do instead is to think at your training. All the hours that you ended up putting into it, all that techniques that you ended up training, that footwork drills, all that effort by pushing under the bar at the gym day after day. You prepared for that day at your best. And now, no matter what, you are going to put all that effort into your performance. You don't have to fear anything or any result. You have to approach the competition as you are. And you have to repeat this to yourself. Search for confidence in your efforts, be aware of your abilities and feel confident about them. The third thing you have to do is to approach things one step at a time. Do not think about pools, quarters, or about medals, or about fencing this or that strong fighter that you know. 
focus on one fight at a time. Do not let the mind fly to other things. The more you are focused on the what is happening in that precise moment, the lesser anxious you will be. Not being alone at the competition also helps a lot. Having a person which knows you and is able to support you is extremely important. It may be your instructor, your partner or a good friend. It helps a lot, especially at the beginning. And at last, the most important thing. You have to be aware that losing is part of the process. You don't have to enjoy losing, of course, because if winning matches doesn't matter at all, there is no motivation to improve. But you don't have to fear losing a fight. Focusing your mind on the fear to lose is as detrimental as focusing on winning. Both are two abstract concepts which aren't of any value for a fencer. Instead, focus on the fight that matters. When the fight or the pulse will end and you will find out the results of your fighting, you will have all the time in the world to evaluate what you have done, both for the good and for the bad, and be happy or complain or be sad or whatever. Very good people, I hope you will find this video useful in some ways. Remember to check out my Patreon, link in the description if you want to support my work. Thanks for watching as always, and uh, see you next time.